Hello everyone who is watching. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. And like I say, even if you don't like what I have to say, I still appreciate you watching because a view is a view. <laughs> anyway, I want to start out by also saying, oops, um, in my defense, the other morning I had just woken up and I was just kind of milling around. My, I hadn't even had my coffee yet. And it kind of popped in my mind. I said, I wonder what Keisha's doing. <laughs> Not like, is Keisha grocery shopping? But like, what's going on over there? Because I haven't done anything on her in about almost two months, right? I think, right? And so I look. And the first thing I see is the OnlyFans. And I watched one video. And then I watched something else. And so... I didn't see what she put on her community wall until yesterday. And I'll get to that in a minute. But my my first reaction was like, oh my God, this girl, she is getting worse. Like it was almost like, I didn't think it could get worse, but it's getting worse. But after reading the community wall, I realized that I was kind of wrong. Um, I, I still do believe that Jeremy is dragging her down a road of debauchery that she wouldn't have gone down otherwise so that um you know and maybe she in my opinion maybe going along with it because possibly trying to compete with that stripper culture out there in atlanta and from what i know if you're a girlfriend or wife or whatever if you in atlanta you just know your husband or boyfriend goes to strip clubs and that's just what it is. It's not a big deal. In other places, it's not like that. But in my opinion, um, whether it's subconscious or consciously, Miss Mams might be trying to keep up with the kind of girls that he has his other craving for. I believe he likes her. I believe he loves her. But I believe he also craves that other stuff. And this OnlyFans might be an attempt to cater to that. So I do still believe he has taken her down a debaucherous road. That has not changed. But from what she said in her community wall, which I'll read in a minute, it's not as bad as I thought. One thing that super creeps me out, though, uh, I, ugh, God. I was watching a video. I, I, I try to watch my mouth because I can be offensive, and I'm sorry. I want to be honest, but I don't want to offend I was watching a video when Keisha was talking about this and she's sitting in the bathroom, had, had her, little, her little knees up and she's talking, no makeup on, her hair just kind of all natural. And it made me sad. Um, Y'all, I don't know, it made me sad because I feel like she's doing something she doesn't necessarily want to do. But... I think she just really wants to keep him, keep that, keep her boyfriend. Again, you have to become my husband. If you got whatever they're getting ready to do on something, the fact that you even put it on OnlyFans, and we and, and my image is being shown in this way, we you got to murder me. I mean, god damn. But um, getting off topic. Watching her sitting in that bathroom, and she just looked like so innocent. And she was just talking about doing the OnlyFans. And she's acting excited, but when you start getting old, when you get older, like an old lady like me, you can tell stuff. And this part, the next part that I saw while I was watching the video just grossed me out. It wasn't even that serious, but it grossed me out. When Jeremy walked in that bathroom, like some fucking porn producer or something, oh, that was too much. Like some freaking, like, it just gave me the creeps. When he walked in the bathroom, he's like, have you told them <laughs> about the OnlyFans yet? <laughs> and then she's like, yes, yes, uh -huh. I've told him about all the, 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 the nasty stuff we're going to show now. And of course, she didn't say that, but that's the feeling I got. It just, it just creeped me out when he was just like, have you told them about it yet? But all this, that, this, this dirty shit we're about to be getting into. It just feels like She's being taken down a road. I don't feel like she 100% wants to go down. 
And I kind of do believe that this was his, his idea. And when you really want to keep somebody, you are scared to say no. And you don't want them to go seek that pleasure again elsewhere. And so you'll go along with things, even against your own brand. And I do believe doing this OnlyFans turned up material is really, damn, she, she got it together, got the kids' endorsements, got her own endorsements, even beside without all the controversy, still making things happen. So to then produce OnlyFans content Baby, that contradicts with the endorsement deals you got for your daughters. It just makes it, if you got the baby's endorsement deals and you got your own endorsement deals and you're making clean money, why do you want to make dirty money? If you're making clean money, why do you want to get into making dirty money? It doesn't make any sense. It's all these other people are only fans who don't have the reach and subscribership and history like Keisha has to be able to get the viewership. So they have to do the raunchy, nasty, turned up stuff. She doesn't even have to do it. And that's why I don't think she's doing this because she wants to. I think she's not scared for real, but she, I'm using that word. Y'all know what I mean when I say scared. Not wanting to lose somebody. And I think she's going along with something she's not necessarily probably crazy about going along with. Um... One thing I always got the feeling about Keisha, Keisha's kind of like, I'm kind of a dork, right? I just am. I'm kind of awkward and goofy. And Keisha's like that. And there's nothing wrong with being awkward. There's nothing wrong with being goofy. There's nothing wrong with being kind of dorky. Um, you don't have to be that girl. You don't have, you know, like the hottest, the so-called sexy, whatever that is. You don't have to be that. You can just be who you are and be perfectly fine. Even the so-called sexiest girl it's other qualities she doesn't have that the less sexy girl has. You know, the... I've always felt this, and I don't, I don't know if I've ever said this. I always got that feeling with Keisha, always, that trying too hard to be this sexy thing, this sexy thing. I don't know the image type of thing that I don't think is even really her, but really trying to portray that. And then let's not go too far back into the old history. When your partner steps out with somebody that looks the way the other young lady did, who just exudes sex, it puts even more pressure to come off as sexy. Because any woman, forget them, any, any woman, when a man steps out and you see who he stepped out with, and that kind of woman, and you decide to keep him, it's going to stay in your head and you're going to wonder, well, dang, maybe I need to start trying to look like that. Because that's really what he likes, to keep him. And you may not consciously know you're trying to do it, but in your subconscious. Oh, yeah, hold on. I got, hold on just a second. Come, are, are you coming in? Why don't you hear me? Hold on, y'all. Hey, y'all. Sorry. A little friend, a little company just came over, but I got to finish recording. But um, wh where did I leave off? Yeah, I get a sense that I don't get a sense. It's obvious. <laughs> Why am I trying to sugarcoat it? It's obvious. <sighs> this girl, damn it, Keisha. <laughs> I shouldn't even have paused the video. Now, now I pause the video. Now my real thoughts are gonna come out. I try so hard to censor myself. And every time I got to pause and come back, my real self comes out. God damn it, Keisha. What the fuck are you doing? Damn it. I tried, y'all. I tried to hold my tongue and be politically correct. But girl, what the fuck is you doing? What is this bullshit? <laughs> what is this? Okay, and that's another thing. Sorry, I thought I saw something. That's just another thing. Like, this is... Anything turned up, anything spicy, saucy, that's not what your content is about. You making bread. Don't don't mix that content in. You are branding a family channel. What what is you doing, baby? Stop messing with your money. And before I read the community board, let me calm my let me calm down. Cause I like her. And just watching this goofy shit makes me mad. Now I'm not gonna get monetized. 
But before I read the community board, damn, I forgot. I done got so mad. I forgot what I was going to say. I actually got mad. Um, the bra Oh, yeah. <clears throat> what? Why do you keep bringing this number on the channel? Keisha's subscribership is down to 500. Y'all, my whole personality changed. I wish I had to pause. Now, I couldn't hold it together any longer. Keisha's subscribership has gone down to 500,000. It was at 5, 12, 13, 14 uh, a year or so ago. How does your subscribership go down to 500,000? Because you keep bringing this number onto the God mm, channel. And then now he's going to be involved. I mean, it's insane. He's going to be involved now in this exclusive OnlyFans content that you're bringing him into. He is the direct reason. Well, not direct. Well, he is the direct reason. If this mm, hadn't had a ba baby with this other lady, they wouldn't have brought all this negative attention. All this little stuff you did against the lady wouldn't have came out. People wouldn't have turned on you. And then by staying with them, people lost respect for you because you stayed with them, which is your right as a woman to stay with who you want. Don't nobody have a right to tell you who to be with. But God dang it affected your brand. And his actions affected your brand. So now we're going to do some OnlyFans type content with a nigga who has affected your brand. Keep him off. <laughs> what? What? Is, what? Girl, why do you keep trying to force this boy down everybody's throat? I know people be in the comments talking about, oh, it's good to see Jeremy. Y'all y'all lying to her. The, the subscribership is showing that it's not. For a while, he wasn't in it. But the fact that he still shows up, he's just tarnished her brand so much. Not even him directly. Not him directly. His actions and all the fallout from his actions. It's complicated because him coming into the channel... When they became a couple type of channel, Jeremy's presence, Jeremy's presence brought Keisha's subscribership up to where it's at. But then when he went and he had that baby with the girl, it just, and all the fallout from that, that's brought the subscribership back down. It hasn't hit it really hard, but 12,000 people unsubscribed to you in a year and a half is kind of hitting hard. And then putting him back onto the, channel in any capacity and trying to force him on people is going to further drive down the subscribership and then trying to introduce us to this spicy wild side while also trying to be a family channel your channel your business but it's bad business even though it's not going to be nasty raunchy bucket naked like i thought it was going to be it's bad business so hold on let me go ahead and read the community board that I saw yesterday so that I can make my correction. My apologies for jumping to conclusions. Okay. So is Keisha talking about the, the, the rules and the final signing up for the, to be a viewer or something. I don't know what she's talking about. I just know it says Keisha and Jeremy, Lord Jesus, dot my Spotify. But here's the important part. It says, oh Lord, there's so much to read. It says, and y'all, please stop comparing me to this person or that person. I'm not the first person to close to do close friends, and I most certainly won't be the last. But how many people are running around here on YouTube with half a million subscribers? You know how impossible that is? And then you're a black woman on top of that, and you've gotten half a million subscribers. So you're not the first and the last, but people usually only resort to that when, you're, when they're desperate. You don't have to do that. That's what makes this crazy to me. But let me <laughs> calm down. Okay, why y'all think of nudity sex instead of me turning up with my boyfriend? Keisha, we think that because you implied it. But not, not, don't let me get started on implying things because another video I made when I said somebody implied something, everybody got mad at me. But in my opinion, in my opinionation, she implied it. So that's why we think it, because you implied it. We didn't just come with that out of nowhere. And usually only fans, close friends, is some nasty shit. That's why. Does she not know that? Ah, okay, anyway, let me keep reading. I got to finish up. I got I, I to gotta go. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Why do y'all think sex nudity instead of me turning up with my, oh, BF, boyfriend. I don't think my best friend. Boyfriend. I have children that follow me. I am a mother. 
glad you remember. I mean, not that she wouldn't remember being a mother. I think she's a great mom. So let's be clear about that. I'm being funny. I'm being facetious by saying glad she remembers. Great mom. So even when I go out with my friends, I rarely show a lit side of me because of that. You're not supposed to. When I do lit things and shit that I get into, I don't I don't post it. I don't even talk about it on here. I, I do all my dirt in private. That's, that's how you're supposed to do. If you publicly make videos, you do your dirt privately. You don't talk, you don't show it to people. Not on YouTube. You just don't because it's just, just don't. And I, anyway, uh, that side of me, ready to show that side of me because of that. Okay, I, I missed something. Most of my friends don't have an audience of minors watching them to worry about what they post. Yes, they're not as successful as you are. Yes, we are about to turn up and live our best life with my man on this all expense paid trip. I said adult content because it's my mature adult supporters. YouTube flags videos that have too much cursing, drinking, or even too much if you're in a bikini. Okay, so I only read a little piece of this earlier, so now I'm reading the rest of it. I kind of get what she's saying. She's saying we might be drinking, smoking, and in bikinis. And YouTube actually flags that now. So I get it. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense now. Like I said, this is going to be sexy, not slutty, fun, kinky, not porno. Oh, God. What is this going to be? A complete different side to me and Jeremy. <laughs> Maybe you, but not Jeremy. <laughs> I am an influencer. I'm an influencer, content creator, all capital entertainer. The girls that get it, get it. And the ones that don't, oh well. I'm going to live my best life this trip. And you either subscribe to see fun content or don't. I wish my mama would be online picking apart a person my age about what she's doing with her man. Girl, we do it for you for, for a check. Maybe your mom needs to get on YouTube and talk about people so she can get a check. That's why we do it. That's what, like, us old ladies, why we talk about you because we want a YouTube check. It's, we don't really care. We, we just want some YouTube money. And you can talk about people and make money. That's why we do it. But anyway, some of y'all need to sit down because that old Keisha is gone. She needs to come back. <laughs> No one, and I mean no one, is going to bully me into not living my life. So this is a rebellious act. Okay. Okay. I understand now. Okay. I get it. <laughs> Let me go ahead and finish this out. If y'all want to see a side of us and get exclusive content, then sign up. It's going to be fun and grown and sexy. We will be going, we will be going, we will be doing, that's what they're doing, but it says going. We will be doing a drunk Q&A and dares exclusively for y'all and giving y'all what y'all want to see. Love y'all. Okay. Hmm. So after reading that, okay, erase a little bit of what I just said 10 minutes ago. If it's not going to be like, I kind of get it. I kind of get what she's doing. But she's doing something that people who need subscribers does. She doesn't need to do what she's doing. And I get what she's saying and being grown, but she's already grown. She's very successful. And I feel like this is a downgrade to her success. And I feel like it's trying to upgrade somebody who has a free channel already that all he has to do is put content on and he'd do great. He just won't do it. And I feel like it's going to be a hit against her brand. I feel like it's not a good idea, but it's not my channel. It's not my life. Um, I'm only talking about what I'm seeing on YouTube, but, um, I made a faux pas. I jumped to the conclusions the other day. I read what I initially saw without reading deeper into it. So, oops, sorry, but, uh, good luck to her. And I hope it doesn't hurt her brand because she has those children to support and, you know, Jeremy to support and just good luck to her. And I hope it works out and I hope, I hope it brings more success. I don't wish anything bad. I just don't think it's a good idea for her brand, but I definitely wish her success. I hope I'm wrong. I pray I'm wrong. I want those girls to have the best in life. And I want Splash to have the best in life because, damn it, he deserves it too. <laughs> okay, that's it. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Or night.